Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Apex 2015 and I'm joined by IPC's President and CEO, John Mitchell. John, great to see you. Thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Thanks for having me. The show seems to have, have gone pretty well the first two days. People seem pretty happy. Amazingly well. It seems to have grown quite a bit too. Yeah, we're at uh, 450 exhibitors. Mm. We've had uh, great attendance uh, in just in my say less than scientific sampling mm. but going around people are saying it's the busiest and the best they've had in okay. some time so that's really encouraging for the industry that Outlook is encouraging. for the, this early in the year yeah and i've been here on the um, i've been here on the show floor so i haven't had a chance to get up to the uh, the conference areas what's what, what's it been like up there oh it's been actually we talked to a couple of the conference committee people but it was interesting one of them was giving an instruction or thing he said he walked in the room there's 75 people in the room mm -hmm. he couldn't believe it so yeah. he checked his schedule to see if he's in the right in room the or not he's, yeah. he's like I, I normally have 10 you know, yeah. so so we're, we're really encouraged by the enthusiasm that uh, the industry seems to be showing for the show yeah. and the events. And I, I kind of like that because it's always been a show with a good conference, but that whole training element has, has really gained traction, hasn't it? That's yeah, become with a the professional element. development. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost like this, this show is, is three events. You, know, mm. you have the exhibition, which is great, and then you, you have uh, the, the professional development, yeah. and then, of course, the standards activities. Yeah. And so, What's nice is to see the synergy between all of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And just, just on the standard side, we're seeing we're seeing a real blurring between lines in industries now, wearables, automotive, all those sectors. Is that making more demands on, on the on the standards team to, to, to bring out? You know, it, it continues to be a challenge because you mm. want, uh, it's hard to make one standard that's one size mm. fit all. And so we're, we're starting, from some of our more popular standards, we're starting to put together specific addendums. Okay. So like we have a space addendum mm -hmm. that goes along with, say, the, the 610, yeah. where that s takes all that extra stuff that the space um, industry yeah. wants to uh, wants to capture, and we put yeah. it in a, just a separate event. We're considering doing that for other industries as well. Okay. Okay. So, what are you seeing? What are you seeing driving the industry at the moment, and, and driving IPC in terms of in terms of demand? Is it what kind of technology is is pushing you, and what are your what are your members asking you to do? So, a, a lot of it comes to what you're talking about, the education piece. Mm. So, so obviously, there's there's standards, which you know they want them faster. Yeah. They want to make sure that we're up to date, yeah. et cetera. And so, we're working with the committees and and. There's some challenges with that because traditionally it takes a fairly long time. Mm. Uh, but uh, by and large, we're hearing a lot of good comments about how to speed that up. Yeah. The next thing is on education. I mean, there's there's so much uh, <coughs> information that people need to understand. Yeah. So we're striving to advance our education programs and to do more mm. uh, that we can in that area. The other area that uh, kind of surprised me, we did an industry survey about a little bit about a year ago, and we've been acting on it uh, actually a little bit before that, but we were pleased to see it reflected it, is our advocacy efforts. Mm. So we're working with governments. We've had some actually really great impacts in China, in the U.S., and uh, we're working with the European Council as well. So we're trying to be uh, very active globally on the yeah, advocacy front. That's really important on the advocacy front, but also on the standards front. We want those sure. to be global because actually the suppliers in the industry are very that's much right. global now. We're, I mean, our membership, just to give you a brief <coughs> breakdown, we've got about 2,200 members in the U.S., mm -hmm. 800 in Asia, and 500 in Europe. Wow. So literally 40% of our members mm. are outside of the U.S. now, yeah. and that percentage is growing. Yeah. So we're trying to make sure that each of those aspects have an active voice yeah. in the standards and in what their needs are from yeah. IPC. Yeah, so you get all that data in and you're able to deliver something very consistent globally yeah. um, coming back out. The f the f so we've got standards, education, advocacy, and the fourth thing is solutions, which mm -hmm. is kind of a consortium effort. Right. We're looking for the industry to tell us, hey, here's a problem we need to solve, and then we're looking to collaborate with the industry to figure out how to solve it so okay. we can just squash it. Yeah, well, that's interesting. So when you do that, does that how, how do you deal with the intellectual property on that? Because you know, that, that's you know, a these really guys get together, question. they... So, so uh, let me take one, uh, the specific example that we're working on right now. So lead free has been around mm -hmm. for a long time, mm -hmm. but in high reliability, they're still they're basically still leaded. Yeah. And um, to that end, we did, uh, we worked with government and industry people to do a gap analysis mm -hmm. about where is the mainline product stream going right. to develop in, le in lead free arena and where won't it? Okay. And so we've re-looked at some of those projects and came up with about a, a four year, $40 million program that we're mm -hmm. now going out to try to fund. Okay. And then at the end of those four years, we anticipate it to go away. <coughs> now, intellectual property on that, obviously those that invest in it will have a little bit yeah, cool leader it. advance. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so they'll get, they'll get earlier information. Yeah, they'll it's, kind of get a first to market. Exactly. Which is fair. Yeah, which exactly. Is fair. You if put, you're going to pay for it, you should get something You put for that. stuff in, you've got to get something out. That's and, right. And next year we're in, um, back in Las Vegas. I thought yes, we were going to we be are. here a bit longer, but just a year. 
Yeah. And we'll be right back here again after that. Okay. So is so, it going to go to an alternate year strategy, uh, or I think we're here for a couple years after that. I actually don't okay. remember you know, okay. how many years, but but I, I think it's just one year in Vegas yeah. and then at least two years back here. Yeah. A lot of people have said they'd like to hear. We've seen a lot of a lot of activity from Mexico, and the market in Mexico is pretty exciting at the moment. It is. There's. Uh, it, it's actually. From what I'm understanding from our members, is it's nearly on par with the China mm. market in terms of co total yeah, cost yeah, yeah. of manufacturing, yeah. which is which is astounding. Yeah, and proximity just makes proximity it, makes it, it, makes it, very, it very ideal. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is, is when you're down here in San Diego, you have a lot of drive-in traffic. A yeah. lot of the industry is here in Southern California, yeah. Yeah. and so you can get a lot of people to come that yeah. may not make the trek to Vegas. Yeah. But uh, we also find when we go to Vegas that we have a lot of yeah, international travel. Yeah, there's a lot of people that come from. And it from maybe Vegas. brings more in from the East Coast as well because, you know, once they're traveling, they might as well go to, might Vegas. As well go to Vegas. There yeah. you go. There you go. Thanks for stopping by. Pleasure to talk to you. My and pleasure. Uh, enjoy what's left of the show. Thank Good you. Good seeing you again. Take care. Bye. Thank you.